Released in 1978, The Driver is a gritty, no-nonsense crime thriller that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Directed by Walter Hill, this film revolves around a skilled getaway driver with no name played by Ryan O'Neill. With its minimalistic dialogue and intense car chase sequences, the movie unfolds a story of cat and mouse between the driver and a relentless detective. As you dive into the narrative, brace yourself for a roller coaster of emotions. There are funny, shocking, and downright sad moments awaiting you. So, when was the first time you witnessed this adrenaline packed ride? Whether it was years ago or just yesterday, the driver has a way of leaving a mark. Now, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience connected to this film? Drop your stories and reflections in the comments below. Keep watching and let the reminiscences roll in. The 1978 film, The Driver, has left an enduring impact on the cinematic landscape, solidifying its place as a classic within the crime thriller genre. Directed by Walter Hill, the movie, marked by its minimalistic narrative and sleek, stylized presentation, remains a benchmark for its influence on subsequent filmmakers and its timeless exploration of archetypal themes. The legacy of this influential work is deeply rooted in its groundbreaking approach to storytelling and character development. The protagonist, known simply as the driver and portrayed by Ryan O'Neill, embodies the enigmatic anti-hero, a character archetype that has resonated across decades. His stoic demeanor, coupled with exceptional driving skills, has become emblematic of the genre, inspiring numerous iterations in subsequent films. Walter Hill's directorial finesse, showcased in this film, paved the way for a new era of action cinema. The minimalist dialogue and emphasis on visual storytelling marked a departure from traditional narrative conventions, influencing a generation of filmmakers who sought to emulate its gritty and atmospheric style. The deliberate pacing and tension-filled sequences have become hallmarks of the genre, leaving an indelible mark on the cinematic lexicon. The movie remains relevant today due to its thematic depth and the enduring appeal of its characters. It explores the timeless motifs of pursuit, loyalty, and the complex interplay between law and order. These universal themes ensure its continued resonance with audiences as they can still find relevance and connection to the struggles portrayed on screen. In addition to its narrative impact, the film's influence extends to the technical aspects of filmmaking. The precision and artistry in the car chase sequences, masterfully choreographed by Hill, set a standard that subsequent films aspired to achieve. The legacy of these intense, high-stakes pursuits can be observed in countless action movies that followed, attesting to the lasting impact on the genre. In conclusion, this pivotal film stands as a cornerstone in the history of cinema, shaping the crime thriller genre and influencing a generation of filmmakers. Its impact is evident not only in the stylistic choices and narrative innovations, but also in the enduring themes that continue to captivate audiences. The movie's legacy remains firmly embedded in the fabric of cinematic history, a testament to its lasting significance in the world of filmmaking. Quentin Tarantino, in his book about cinema, hails the driver as one of the coolest movies of all time. The film, released in 1978, is characterized by a unique aspect. None of its characters are assigned names. They are simply identified by their roles like the driver. The absence of personal names contributes to a distinctive narrative style, emphasizing the characters' roles rather than their identities. This unconventional approach adds an intriguing layer to the storytelling, steering away from conventional character development. Walter Hill, the director, sought approval from the experienced Raoul Walsh by sending him the original script. Walsh, a seasoned director, endorsed the script, acknowledging its merit. This interaction reflects Hill's respect for the cinematic legacy, seeking approval from a veteran in the field. The driver's unconventional narrative style, devoid of personal names, and its director's consultation with a veteran filmmaker contribute to its unique position in cinema. These elements, combined with Tarantino's endorsement, solidify its status as a noteworthy film in the world of cinema. Inspired by Le Samurai, The Driver, a film from the late 70s, holds a distinct place in cinema. Its narrative style, influenced by the earlier work, emphasizes roles over personal identities, a departure from conventional character development. The director, Walter Hill, sought validation from veteran filmmaker Raoul Walsh, reflecting a deep respect for cinematic legacy. With only 350 words spoken, the titular character relies on silence, creating a unique cinematic experience. 
This approach, devoid of extensive dialogue, sets it apart and contributes to its influential status in the cinematic realm. Notably, it served as inspiration for the film Driver and its subsequent sequels. Its impact transcends its release, influencing later works and solidifying its enduring significance. In summary, the movie's minimalist dialogue, influenced by Le Samurai, and its role as a precursor to the Driver series underscore its lasting impact on cinema, recognized by renowned director Quentin Tarantino. Cheryl Smith held a significant role in the original, longer cut of the film, but her subplot got excised, resulting in the removal of all her scenes. Director Walter Hill later expressed regret for cutting these scenes, praising Smith's acting skills. Isabella Johnny made her Hollywood debut in this film, marking a notable moment in her career. The Driver, released in 1978, had a substantial influence on the 2011 film Drive. Director Walter Hill acknowledged the impact of cutting Cheryl Smith's scenes and praised her acting. Isabella Janney's Hollywood debut and the film's influence on Drive add noteworthy layers to its cinematic history. Originally intended for Steve McQueen, the driver took shape under director Walter Hill after he declined due to his aversion to car-centric roles post-Bullet and the Thomas Crown Affair. Hill, having previously worked on Bullet and written The Getaway, navigated the narrative shift. Inspired visually by Edward Hopper's art, the movie bears the imprint of his distinctive style throughout. Hill, deeply influenced, weaves Hopper's visual aesthetic into its fabric. Torchy's Bar, a recurring locale, serves as a common thread in Hill's films, appearing not only in The Driver, but also in 48 HRS and Streets of Fire. The character Tara King, alias Frizzy, bridges both the film and 48 HRS, embodying continuity within Hill's cinematic universe. Intriguingly, with its genesis tied to McQueen's rejection and its visual roots in Hopper's art, the movie stands as a testament to Hill's adept fusion of influences and his thematic consistency across films. This amalgamation forms a distinctive cinematic identity, further solidified by recurring elements and characters in his oeuvre. In Edgar Wright's Baby Driver, the film pays homage to the driver's release date by featuring it as inmate 28,071,978, a subtle nod to director Walter Hill. Contrary to rumors of a longer director's cut, Hill has firmly denied its existence, asserting that the rough cut's length and additional scenes were not part of his intended version. Yes, DVD includes a studio-mandated introductory sequence, absent from theatrical prints, aimed at clarifying character identities. The driver, true to his cowboy loner persona, openly disdains firearms but pragmatically wields a 45 caliber Wild West-era Colt peacemaker for self-defense when necessary. This choice, though antiquated for the 1970s, aligns with his character's ethos. This distinctive blend of practicality and symbolism adds depth to the character and reinforces his enigmatic presence on screen. In conclusion, the driver's influence extends beyond its own narrative, leaving a subtle mark in modern cinema through nods and references. The debunking of the supposed longer director's cut and the character's unique approach to weaponry contribute to the film's enduring legacy. Isabella Janney, despite her initial enthusiasm for the driver, later expressed dissatisfaction with its impact on her career, noting that she only received unfavorable American offers afterward. She joined the project due to her admiration for Walter Hill's first film, Hard Times. A Johnny who initially accepted the role to fulfill the urge for a Hollywood film post, the story of Adele H. later regretted the decision, realizing it was a mistake. Her career trajectory took an unexpected turn, and she lamented the consequences of her involvement with the film. Isabella Janney's agreement to participate in The Driver stemmed from her genuine admiration for Walter Hill's directorial skills showcased in Hard Times. However, the decision proved detrimental to her career, leading to regret and a realization of a significant error. This shift in trajectory after her acclaimed performance in the story of Adele Age reflects the complexities of career choices in the film industry. The Driver, a film directed by Walter Hill and released in 1978, stands out for its unconventional narrative style. In a departure from traditional character development, the movie refrains from assigning personal names to its characters, emphasizing roles over identities. This unique approach, influenced by the earlier work, Le Samurai, adds depth to the storytelling and sets it apart in cinema. 
Director Walter Hill sought validation from veteran filmmaker Raoul Walsh, reflecting a deep respect for cinematic legacy. Despite the removal of significant scenes involving Cheryl Smith in the original cut, her contribution, and the Hollywood debut of Isabella Janney in the film add noteworthy layers to its history. Originally intended for Steve McQueen, the driver took shape under Hill after McQueen's rejection. Visually influenced by Edward Hopper's art, the movie weaves Hopper's distinctive style throughout. Torchy's Bar, a recurring locale in Hill's films, connects the driver to other works, embodying continuity within Hill's cinematic universe. In Edgar Wright's Baby Driver, the driver's release date is subtly referenced, paying homage to director Walter Hill. The film's enduring legacy is evident in nods and references across modern cinema, despite debunking rumors of a longer director's cut. Isabella Janney's involvement in The Driver, driven by her admiration for Hill's skills showcased in hard times, took an unexpected turn, impacting her career negatively. This shift in trajectory after her acclaimed performance in the story of Adele H. reflects the complexities of career choices in the film industry. The Driver's influence extends beyond its narrative, leaving a subtle mark in modern cinema through nods and references. Its distinctive narrative style, validated by veteran filmmaker Raoul Walsh, and its visual roots in Edward Hopper's art contribute to its lasting impact.